morning everybody I'm going to have a look at uh, quite a few complex selection statements I'm going to discuss the various options that we've got um, I'm going to really have a look at nested if statements and I'm going to first of all just test if a number is positive then positive or negative thereafter positive, null or negative and we're going to end up to test it for a whole range of values I've got a very simple program here and in the button event procedure we're going to do the testing now so I've defined two variables, first of all the number and the message I get the number from the text box and now I'd like to do the test so let's say the first test that I want to do is to just test if a number is positive and I want to s display a message or save a message um, in the variable called message to that regard so I'm going to enter all the statements in the button event procedure but an if statement can very well be coded anywhere where you can code any of the other statements so either inside a procedure or a function um, currently it's in a button event so procedure hey so my if statement I want to test if the number is bigger than zero if I just press enter VB gives me the syntax for the if statement and I simply need to go and save the word positive in message take note I'm only interested in a true statement at this stage so I'm only interested if something um, that's that the message must be displayed if the number is positive if it's negative I'm going to ignore it at this stage for simplicity then when I'm going to execute the program I'm not going to get the data from the user I'm simply going to assign a value and we're going to work with that assigned value I'm going to debug the program I want to show you the steps that the program would follow so if I s execute the program, run it and start the button event procedure then the two variables would be declared and created in memory and next my program will execute line 20 so if I specify step into it does one step and now it's going to test number number bigger than 20 that is true so that means positive would be saved in message and if executes next and then the message is displayed in the label and in sub will stop the procedure if on the other hand I've got a value that's negative and that's saved in number if I start the program again execute the button event procedure line 20 will execute step into does that and now it's going to test minus 5 is that bigger than 0? no and have a look next statement that would execute would be the end if the control immediately jumps there and now it goes to the message label and this will display simply nothing nothing was assigned to message initially if we want to take this if statement a little bit further I want to test if a number is positive or negative then I will do the following let's go and test 
Pigo equal to zero, that gives me a positive number. And to test for a negative number, I simply need to use else. Else will always have the opposite meaning of what we're testing here. So else will really test if number is less than zero. Opposite of big O equal to would be less than. So this is the if statement that I'm going to use to test if a number is positive or negative and to display a message to that regard. If I want to continue and show you the next step to the if statements, I can test if a number is positive, null or negative. In this case, I would like to see if the number is positive. Otherwise, if the number is zero itself, can enter that and uh, if right at the end the else tells me if none of the above so this else without a test really means if none of the above I can test for quite a few different values like this else if is written like this and now it means test number if it's this or if it's that and if it's none of the above. So I can easily have an if statement. Um, please take note, this if else is, is one word, it's one statement, and it just means that I'm going to test the if statement for multiple values. Let's go and test, change the if statement yet another little bit. Let's say if the number is positive, I'd really like to know whether it falls in a certain range or not. So now when the number is positive, I want to test it again. If the number is, and have a look now, there's a few versions to this if statement. I'm just going to assign to message again um, just the range that we tested for. Okay, so have a look at this. This is one way of writing it. It's the I must say, if statement that I would prefer because it's as simple as possible. So, if the number is positive, I've got another if statement now, and I need to test whether the value is within this range, 1 to 100. I don't really need to test if it's bigger than, a hundred, than 1, because only if the number is bigger than zero, that means one or above, will it reach this if statement over here. So I simply need to test for the upper bounds. So number less or equal to 100. Otherwise, is it less than 500? to give me from 101 to 499 and this else over here would mean the rest. There is a problem over here that should hopefully read 500 or above. Okay. Take note, I can write this if statement like this as well. So I can write number big O equal to 1 
and also number less or equal to 100 and then in the same matter I can write number bigger than 100 and also and I can write if number bigger or equal to 500 so this part can be written like that but it's not really necessary I am just adding complexity over here and I'm also adding the chance to make a mistake so I would under normal circumstances never use anything like that I can just simply go to the basics like that and it would be perfectly fine I like to leave a line open before and after the if statement the one that's inside the other if just to make it nice and clear next I'd like to show you the execution of this program so if we stop the program on line 20 with a breakpoint and then I start the button event procedure so 410 will be assigned to number and now the code will test 410 is that bigger than 0? yes 410 is that less or equal to 100? no 410 is that less than 500? yes and there we get the value in the range after this line 29 executes that inside if statement is finished code will jump to line 32 and then immediately it's going to jump to line 38 okay because this outside if statement is also finished it got the true section if I change the value to 22 and run the program again then 22 is assigned 22 is that bigger than 0? yes it is is 22 less or equal to 100? yes it is and my value is determined to be within 1 to 100 and if and if executes it's really important then that you'd be able to read the if statements you need to be able to read somebody else's code and see what would happen in the if statement okay this con concludes then this section dealing with all different if statements we write if statements to test one variable number for different values